Welcome to a new vlog. Today we're going to be talking about these uh, Tag Connect, JTAG connectors and the way you interface them to your programming tool of choice, be it an ST-Link or a J-Link, because, well, these have different uh, connectors, so there isn't really uh, an easy way to interface them uh, off the shelf to a uh, standard Tag Connect cable. So for that reason, I designed this little adapter board to help with that. First, a bit of info on the uh, Tag Connect. So this is a registered uh, trademark. They uh, have a patent on this. They're a US company and they specialize on making these uh, uh, pogo pin style connectors in a very specific uh, footprint with a few different options available. And this is a good idea because they kind of standardized uh, this uh, connector. So you can have a, a few uh, standard footprints in your CAD tool and then you'll know for sure uh, that these uh, programming connectors will fit nicely. This style of connector has a, a few advantages over a more traditional JTAG 10 pin connector. Like for example, before Tag Connect, I preferred to use the 1.27 millimeter pitch uh, 10 pin JTAG IDC connector. And the IDC connector was nice because it was keyed, so it was easy to plug in the right way around, but it had some disadvantages. Think about this, for example, let's say you make 1 million uh, units of your product and the 10 pin IDC connector costs, I don't know, 20 cents a piece. Your total bomb cost for that connector and batch size is going to be uh, 200,000 US dollars, which is a pretty big expense that you can, uh, that can get even bigger with larger batches. And the connector would only be used during manufacturing once, then it never gets used again. Additionally, a 10 pin 1.27 millimeter pitch connector uses a board area of roughly 7.4 by 8.6 millimeters. And this can be a problem if you're doing some high density PCB design as you can't place any other components in that area. And on top of that, imagine someone, an operator on the production line, having to plug and unplug that IDC connector a million times. It takes a lot of manual labor to accomplish that. Before I continue with the Tag Connect alternative, let me quickly mention the sponsor of this video, PCBWay.com, a professional PCB manufacturer who is currently running their sixth annual project design contest, whereby simply presenting your project, you get a chance to win some really cool prizes. But if you're not interested in a contest, you can always place a PCB or a PCB assembly order on their website. Check out their link in the description below. Now here comes the Tag Connect adapter. It has these pogo pins in a very specific layout and shape. You have a very specific footprint, which in the case of the 6-pin Tag Connect is just 7 by 4 millimeters. So you save on board space. Then since these are just some topside copper contacts, they cost you nothing extra on your PCB, no extra components to purchase an assembly. And here's an example. This is a board that I recently designed for a client and I've used this Tag Connect uh, footprint because of the advantages mentioned earlier. It's, uh, this board is part of an industrial control and monitoring process and I have gotten permission from the client to share images of it in this video. Now this connection can either be handled manually by an operator and it will take uh, less time to connect and disconnect with potentially more cycles supported per connector. Uh, than a standard connector or it can be handled by a test jig because this is now just a very basic precise vertical movement so it can be automated making the whole production line faster. Not only that it can make it cheaper and more reliable so you are potentially saving a minimum of 200,000 US dollars on this 1 million units uh, project plus some savings in labor costs. They're also offering these uh, small locking type uh, connectors that you can uh, add to the back side of your uh, PC to lock the connector in place just in case you do some more long-term programming and debugging like I do on my workbench I keep this locked in place on the PCB over several weeks doing a further development work uh, there is also a slightly different version of the tag connect which has some plastic clips built in and you can hook those into a different uh, you need to use a different footprint for those and it has some holes where the plastic hooks can uh, grab to and that does use slightly more board space and I would also be interested in hearing your experience with the Tag Connect, whether you use it on your own PCB designs or maybe you have designed your own Tag Connect or maybe you have a better commercial alternative. Please put it in the comments below. And you're not constrained to using these uh, just for JTAG. You can 
run any signals you like through these connectors you can go for the 10 pin variant and add a bunch of other signals that you're interested in um, so i started using the six pin version because it was a good fit for my project i used it for jtag purposes only and i got myself this particular version which is tc2030-idc-nl uh, but now i didn't have any way of connecting this uh, either uh, to my um, uh, st-link or to my uh, j-link because uh, these uh, use different types of connectors. My ST-Link uses the 10 pin 1.27 millimeter uh, connector and the J-Link uses a 20 pin 2.54 millimeter connector. Sure, you can order more specific versions of this cable with the required connector to match uh, a specific debugging tool, but then you're locking yourself onto that specific connector and you would need multiple tag connect cables to match different tools and uh, these don't come cheap and they're not easily available in stock everywhere in the world and at first i did what any electronics enthusiast would do i reached out to my breadboard slash jumper wires box and i picked a few of these uh, mail to mail jumper wires to interface the two connectors it worked kinda but it was sketchy uh, the connection would sometimes act funny um, so i decided to design a more reliable uh, pcb adapter for this job so this is a quick design that I did in KiCad while on a plane trip. So as you'll notice, I kind of messed up the footprint selection for this 20 pin connector, which should have been a two by 10, but I instead selected a two by 20 footprint. Luckily, this doesn't prevent me from soldering the correct connector on the right side. So the PCB is still very usable. And a few weeks later, I got my uh, PCBs and I assembled the first one and it worked perfectly. While I was designing this, I also placed the footprint for the 10 pin tag connect model because I might get one of those as well at some point in the future. I also added my um, a volt link connector because at some point I might just throw this um, you know, tag connect footprint on a uh, PCB as a general debug interface with a UART and some GPIOs connected. So I could have that connect directly to my standard uh, volt link for general debug and flashing of an ESP32, for example, through a uh, tag connect wire. So this is the story behind this little PCB that I designed recently. So this is the story behind this uh, small PCB adapter that I designed recently. And I hope you find this little project in interesting. And uh, I do have a few spares of these PCBs that I will be adding to my Tindy store. So if you think uh, it might be useful for you, I'll drop a link in the description below so you can order one of these first edition Tag Connect adapter PCBs for a special price. I will also add the link to the GitHub repository where this KiCad project will be published under an open source license. So uh, you could grab these sources and uh, make your own. That was all for today. Thank you for watching and if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to support me making more videos, building more projects, you can do it on my Patreon with as little as $1 per month. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you next time.